Tony Cyber Friends, Midi Man, coming back at you from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Sunday morning edition. Yes, uh, Midi Man is up and at him. Thanking God for giving God the grace, the glory, I mean. And thanking Him for His grace and mercy. And life, health, and strength for as well as it is. We give Him honor. We also want to uh, give a shout out to the YouTube family in Time Harvest Game. Everybody in question know who you are. Many man wanted to say that uh, I want to make a reference to something that great is thy faithfulness. That's what I'm talking about, our Heavenly Father, because uh, that is uh, very, very true. And great is thy faithfulness. God's faithfulness is brand new. His mercies and His grace is brand new every day. It's very fresh every day, according to Lamentation 23 and 23. I may mention that because of the simple reason old Midi Man had a very, very, uh, had a uh, pretty interesting day on yesterday. Uh, dealt with pain, pain just about all day yesterday. Uh, and we, uh, all the way up until, actually, to tell you the truth, until almost the time I tried to fall asleep. And uh, we did what we had to do. We was up and down, tried to go about doing it. No normal duties. Thank God for everyone uh, had some things to do with uh, as far as the music ministry. Uh, we thank uh, we we thank God that He gave me the strength to go on and do the the newly found music ministry. You know, we thank Lady D. Uh, matter of fact, we uh, we give you take our hat off to you. Job well done. <clears throat> Continue to keep it up. And uh, I tell anyone when you're trying to learn something. The more you stick with it, practice, and you know, deal with the subject matter, the better you will get if you do it right. I tell people, there's not no sense in doing stuff over and over doing it wrongly. That's no good, but you got to do it, repeat things, consistency, doing it right, and then that will make you better. Perfect practice make perfect. But nevertheless, we are, uh, we give, we thank you, you know. You was there. You didn't waste anybody's time. And I like that because I tell you, I don't have time to waste. None of us do. We don't have time, period. <laughs> uh, time is not in our hands. And I just wanted to say, you know, like, uh, to let everybody know this, that I come out and sit here this morning. And in the process of thinking from yesterday, it's past. It's gone. I mean, really, just about that full day I dealt with. Up and down, up and down. But great is his faithfulness. And in other words, old Midi Man feel pretty good this morning. Thank God. So you see God's mercy and his grace is fresh every day. And so we, I look at that and I can see that, uh, I, I, I can see that uh, we can always depend on our Heavenly Father. In other words, Jesus, his name is Jesus. In other words, he, he died suffered and died for us and uh, gave us a right in other words the gift is free but we must say we must reach out we must accept it that's why I tell people it doesn't happen by auto, by automation it's, it's, it's a process it's, a, it's something that you have to do and that's the bare minimum but you must reach out he's not going to make us accept salvation it's there it's available it's free but you got to accept it in other words your work must be repentance. In other words, you must believe. And he said, "He that believe and is baptized, the same shall be saved." In other words, now that's the word of God. Now, uh, I also I wanted to mention I I got the video from you, brother PP Drawing. That's a very powerful video. That man is telling the absolute truth, and we need to sit down, everyone, and and and, and uh, we need to sit down and ask ourselves a question: Are we a fan or a follower? Now I say that because uh, there's a series of of uh, little little uh, short stories and movie segments that they play on TV. In. Say, are you a fan or a follower? This closely ties into the video that you sent. Some people are fans of Christ. Some are followers. You better be careful to find out which one you are, because as the man said, as it said in Scripture, Jesus said, "He so himself in that day." Many will say, many. We we'll say, Lord, we did this in your name. We did that in your name. And 
blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> well, Jesus is going to say, yeah, but I never knew you. In other words, we don't have a personal relationship. And that's what I've been saying all along in my video. I told, as a matter of fact, not too long ago, I said, matter, I haven't said it in quite a few videos. It doesn't matter when Christ comes. Just be ready when he comes. Period. Don't just be getting ready because you're afraid that you may miss heaven and go to hell, which that's a good reason. But you, we must follow Christ because we love him. We doing what he wants us to do because we love Jesus. Not because he may come back tomorrow. That's what I liked about that video. In other words, are we doing these things? Are we trying to live this way? In other words, that was a great analogy that a guy made about a, 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 a fiancé and a, a bride and a, her, her husband. Is she being faithful to him just because she's afraid that he may come back tomorrow night? If that's the only reason, you're still a whore. If that's the only reason that you was being faithful is because you're afraid he may come back tomorrow, well, you still a harlot. I love that analogy. I love that. Just be faithful because you love Jesus. That is the key. And those are the ones that have a personal relationship with Jesus. Mind you people, uh, there are a lot of us, like I I spoke this on last night, I was, like I said, I had a rough, yeah, rough day yesterday. But in the midst of that, I, did, I still found time to, you know, do what I thought was right. And I, I, did, I must tell the truth. When people ask me about going to church and church, I say a lot of us going to go to church this morning, but we have no relationship with Jesus. We are going for different reasons. And many man, there's nobody to do it, but we are going for different reasons. A lot of times, I must confess, I go out here on Sunday morning, most of the time because I am a minister of music. I must confess. I must confess that. Do I love Christ? Yes, I do. But a lot of times I go to this the, the house of God mainly because of the fact that I'm on the obligation. I'm a minister of music because a lot of time flesh and listening to other people looking at their ways and then I start trying to judge their ways and try to justify mine. That's no good but that's flesh. See I tell you people don't think that you above getting tempted. I didn't say that, that was a sin. Temptation is not the sin. But you will be tempted to do things because you, if you look around just like Peter did he looked around he took his eyes off Jesus, and that's when he got in trouble. A lot of times, as we go on this life journey, sometimes listening to other people and looking at the things that they say about us or do about us, then we'll take our eyes off Jesus, and that's the time we usually get to sink. And that's just being human and being for real, people. That's what I think we need to do. People want to see for realness. And let me tell you something. Whether you realize it or not, you are very transparent. You are very transparent. Jesus said, you shall know the tree by its fruit, not by its gift, not by its talent, not by the long uh, use of words and all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. But you will know them by their fruit. If you don't have no compassion and you got all that junk in you, you are displaying all this junk that, that, the, that the Bible tells us about, the hypocrisies and all that, jealousies and envy and strife and all that, which is the works of the flesh. It's evident. That's what Paul said. You are showing it very. You are very transparent. So when people see all that stuff coming out of me, when they see it coming out of you, they automatically know. Nah, that's not a Christ. If they know, cause see they look at realness. In other words, we got something we call an acid test, and we got something to call a test of authenticity. In other words, if I'm measured up against the real thing, will I come up short? That's the key. When people measure us to Christ. Do we fall short or do we stand the test of time? Do we stand the test? That is the million dollar question. When people see us from day to day, on a daily basis as they deal with us, do they see Christ or do they see us? Do they see our selfishness and our, our seditions and, and whatnot? That is the key. That is the actual test. So, what is our stamina? The Word of God. This is the stamina right here. If there is something we are falling short in, it is revealed in here. So this is our stamina. You don't have to listen to a man or a woman or anybody else. Listen to this. This is the word. This is the stamina. And this is what we must 
uh, measure ourselves by. And if we want to know exactly where we are in God, and like I said, if we want to find out whether we are a fan or a follower, we better go back to the mirror and ask ourselves the real hard, hard question is, am I really following Jesus because I love him? Do I really have a relationship with him or do I just speaking stuff I've heard other folks say, other preachers or other teachers or whatnot, and I'm just doing this here thing just for a show, just to be well spoken of a man, because if we are doing it for that reason, we need to repent and change, because we don't want to be the one of the ones that day and to stand before him and he tell us that, I never knew you. Think about it, people. Do you want Jesus to say, I never knew you? I know I don't. You're just admit a man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into it, God is not in it. Best that you come on out of it. This is what a man admit a man say, go somewhere today. If you're going to out to the house of prayer, make sure you hear from God in spirit and truth. Spirit and truth. Not because of trying to be shape, form, and fashion outside show to the world. This is a man saying peace. Goodbye.